Nothing means nothing. I am the cream of the crop. I'm balanced, off balanced. It doesn't matter, because I'm better than you. If you've seen WrestleMania, I haven't, but you know about my man, Macho Man Randy Savage. He's hilarious. It's comical. The video of that interview that I just impersonated has 13 million views on YouTube because it's freaking hilarious. The dude's a nuthead. But you take something like kind of cool, like wrestling, and you stir in some drama and some beef and you sprinkle in some real funny characters like that and you create this empire that is Wrestlemania. And maybe I do look up to Macho Man a little bit too much at times, but cycling needs some interesting characters and some funny storylines. Like, who cares about the latest Keegan victory? And who cares what tires Dylan is freaking about, freaking out about this week? Like, cycling needs to be more fun. And maybe I'm trying a little too hard to create some of that beef and generate some of that storyline. But come on, I just want it to be fun. I want people to like have an interest in it and follow along and tune back in to see what how the beef is settled but it seems that i have upset some folks on the internet with my words and i apologize i'm aware of this my wife's been telling me for years that my words are a little brash and somewhat hurtful at times and it's something i'm aware of it's something that i'm not proud of and it's something that i'm often contemplating like how do I not be that way? And how do I work on that? And how do I not offend people? Especially here lately because it seems like I have been offending some people lately. So I think the main thing that I've been thinking about lately is, is trash talking sinful? I mean, I think trash talking is kind of fun. I mean, obviously I do it a lot on the podcast and I think if it's done with the right intent, it can be, I don't know if good is the right word, but it can be fun and not sinful, but again, it kind of goes back to like, what's the intent there? Now, when I say things on the podcast or in my videos, I don't think that the intent inside of me is I want to hurt this person. I think my intent is I want to generate some interest and some appeal. People are watching these videos for entertainment, and so let me entertain them. So, I'll make fun of some people <laughs> and hopefully they don't take it too seriously. I think that is more of my intent. I, I really don't think I'm tr personally trying to attack anybody, but there becomes this question of like, well, how far is too far? My biggest concern in regard to all of this is that the way that I represent myself on podcasts and on the internet is hurting my witness for Jesus. It's my goal in all of my life and in all that I do, that God would use me to witness to lost people, people who don't believe in him, that they would turn from their sin and receive the forgiveness that Jesus has to offer through the cross. But if I've offended people and hurt their feelings and upset them and roasted them on a podcast, then the second that I open my mouth to tell them about Jesus, they're not going to listen to me. They're going to say, dude, who are you to tell me about religion? You roasted me on a podcast or you called me out in your video or you offended me because of fill in the blank. So I think that's been my biggest like wrestling thought lately is I really don't want what I say on the internet to hurt my witness for Christ. Now, there is some really helpful verses in the Bible in regard to how Christians ought to use their mouths. The most useful one is probably Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29, which says, don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. So when I read that verse and when I think about how I speak, oftentimes I feel convicted, honestly. I don't feel like I'm living that verse out as a Christian a lot of times. I think the main thing that I hear when I, when I read that verse is like, my mouth ought to build people up. 
but in reality, I'm doing more tearing down than I am building up. And so it's something that I want to work on. Proverbs 10, 11 also says that the mouth of the righteous ought to be a fountain of life. And oftentimes after we do a podcast recording or after we see some of the messages that, hey, Dizzle, you've put your foot in your mouth once again, it seems like my mouth is more a fountain of death than it is a fountain of life. Also, very convicting. And while I don't want to try and justify my wrongful behavior and my brash words by any means, I do want to also consider what the Bible says about a person's intentions or their heart. In Psalm 139, the Bible says that God searches our hearts and he knows our thoughts and he tries us. He, he, he wants to test us. He wants to know what's in our hearts because what's in our hearts is ultimately what matters to God. And God ultimately wants us to love him with our hearts. And I completely believe that what comes out of your mouth reveals what is in your heart. And so to often, to, to many people, oftentimes, they're probably hearing what's coming out of my mouth and, and seeing uh, hurtful, hurtful intentions or envy or jealousy, all of these types of things because of the way I'm speaking. And again, I don't want to try to justify myself at all, but I don't think that that's really what is in my heart when I say those things. I think what's in my heart, and I don't know how to explain this, but I'm going to try to, is is a weird sense of humor, maybe? Um, some quirkiness? I don't know. But my intention isn't to hurt people. I'm not envious of those people. I'm, I'm completely satisfied in the, the riches and glory that Christ has to offer to me. And I'm totally secure in that and who I am as a Christian. So I don't think there's any envy or jealousy or any of that. Um, I think I just like to poke fun at people and I want to like create some beef and have fun and like, let's, let's generate some interest from this. Um, which sounds weird saying out loud, but, and I don't really know how to explain it, but I really don't think that the intentions in my heart <laughs> when I'm roasting people on the podcast is from ill intent or bad intent. In fact, a perfect example of this is Chase Wark. Uh, I roasted him on our podcast. I said he was going to suck at Unbound. He beat me at Unbound. Do you and Drew Dillman have real beef? Uh, yeah, we have gravel beef. Yeah. He's also a really good cyclist, yeah. even though I keep beating him. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but me and Chase are like best friends now. We do a weekly Bible study together because he doesn't take himself too seriously. And he's a humble dude down to earth. And so when I roasted him on the podcast, he laughed about it. And then he turned around and roasted me on another podcast. Like, and now we're like super good friends, like so much so that we want to be teammates together next year. And we talk on the phone all the time and we're constantly praying for each other. And like all of that was generated off of some internet gravel beef. I think that's cool. Like I would absolutely love for the beef that I've created with other riders to turn into friendships with those riders. Like there's a certain element of internet beef that makes you closer to the beefer or the beefy or whatever. Like it draws us closer and I think that's cool. So to sum it up, I wanna be better. I do want to represent Christ and be a good witness for him. And I think that the way I use my words is a huge part of that. So I want to be better, but I also want to keep having fun and joking around and uh, creating interesting dynamics and characters and storylines within the cycling world. And so I need to balance how I do that in a way that still honors God at the same time. And maybe that's tricky and I don't even know if that exists, but I'm here saying I want to try to do that. I don't want to keep offending people and upsetting people. And lastly, I'd like to apologize to anybody if I have offended you uh, with the words that I've said on the internet. I sincerely apologize and I hope that you'll forgive me.